Uh, it's 10 a.m. on the morning after opening night. And I'm laid out on the living room floor. I look like Voldemort. I'm already ready to go back to bed. And I didn't drink last night. I don't drink. I'm sure there are plenty of people in the company, let's call them canonicos, who haven't even opened an eye yet today. And bless, I hope they had a great time. I had a great time. It was a great party. Our producers were super generous. So now we're up. We run the show for as long as we run the show. Hopefully a very long time. Reviewers have said what they're going to say, and I could give a shit what they have to say, frankly, because uh, let's be clear about reviews. Everyone has an opinion, right? And as they say, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, and everybody thinks everybody else stinks. So that's what I think about reviews. Buy a ticket if you want. And it is kind of absurd when you think about it that it's just a system that's always been like this, that uh, reviewers have a voice that could make or break the jobs of many, many people. Uh, a whole building of people. I've been involved in plenty of shows that just like, yeah, they we got slammed and uh, we all lost our jobs. Uh, now, again, everybody has an opinion. Me, you're watching me, right? And I have opinions on stuff and I'm telling you this and I'm telling you that. But the, the difference is I'm speaking for myself and myself only. I am not speaking on behalf of some news organization or network or any... Uh, organization of power of any kind. And the fact that some of these organizations still have the kind of power to do that is an absurd thing. And the fact that these reviewers, let's be clear, we're talking about primarily older white men as reviewers. So, okay, everybody, what's the opinion of the older white man about this particular show or film or thing? The fuck? This whole system is fact. So anyways... As far as Be More Chill, the musical goes, I don't give a shit what anyone has to say about it. I think that we've created something wonderful. I am so proud to be part of it. I am thrilled for the creatives that put the show together and worked years and years to make it happen and brought it to Broadway. I am thrilled that our producers uh, have the, um, what am I trying to say here? I was going to say gumption, but that's not the word I'm looking for. The belief to uh, to put their money where literally put their money where their mouth is and produce this show because most Broadway shows do not make back their money on Broadway that is a fact also so to put your money into something that might lose millions is crazy but they do it and I'm so glad they do because it gives me a job and then to throw a huge party last night at Gotham Hall that was not a cheap event it was massive it was wonderful so bless any bless bless and I hope that you know uh, the Broadway run goes for a long time and then uh, hopefully there's national tours that go out and then eventually you get regional rights released so that any theater in the world can do the show and uh, it lives and lives and lives but plenty of shows don't make their money back in their Broadway run that can make it back on the road or make it back years later uh, and pay back their investment so to pay back on Broadway is uh it's a rarity but let's let's see what the fates have in store for this one uh all I know is it's a busy night backstage for me and it's a night I would be happy to do for at least a year or two please just give me a year or two to sit in one place as soon as I have the strength to get up off this floor and start my day off oh and by the way Wednesday Wednesday morning Set your DVRs or get your TVs out. We're going to be on the, uh, Good Morning America? Good Morning America. On Wednesday morning, we're going to do a number live, which means, oh, God, I have a 5 a.m. call on Wednesday before a two-show day. Broadway's hard. All right, we're up, we're open, and i got to get up off this floor. Bye.